Hello again. This is another selling vlog. I wanted to, I just wanted to do another video. Uh, I didn't intend to do another selling vlog, but when I was trying to like talk about something, uh, brain empty. But also this, I, I am excited to do this particular selling vlog. What I'm going to be making is a dress. Well, I should have grabbed the fabric. I'm excited to make this dress. I feel the, the pattern says that it's easy, but I feel like it is going to maybe be a little bit more difficult than some of the things that I've made so far. But more importantly, I bought the wrong like size pattern. I think it's probably going to be fine though, because it's not hugely off. Uh, it's also the case that like I make the 16 as sort of a splitting the difference because the, uh, the way that my body is shaped um, really the way that most bodies are shaped. I feel like probably most people are not gonna like have their measurements line up completely. Uh, I feel like that's probably a pretty normal thing, or at least it's normal for me and the two other people that I've tried to make clothing from patterns for. But uh, I, I am like on either side of that. So like my bottom half tends to like need to go up a size and my top half could probably go down a size. Uh, but given that I am shaped that way, I tend to make things that are only fitted in the bodice. And so, you know, I just like I make that one and try to like take it in as much as I can uh, or as much as I need to, whatever. I'm generally making things in the 16. I have a feeling that the 14 will probably be fine. And if it is not fine, that like the adjustments won't be major, that I won't have to do a ton of adjusting. This shirt that I made is from the same pattern company and it is a 16 and like I like I could have made this shirt. A size smaller. Also, I made the buttons on this shirt. They're very exciting. Um, it, my one and only TikTok <laughs> is the process of making these buttons because it was just so cool. All right, so the pattern is not quite the right size or like maybe it's not the right size. I'm not 100% sure if I have the pattern in like the correct size. The fabric that I'm making this dress out of is kind of expensive and I don't want to just, I don't, like, I don't want to gamble with that sizing question on the fabric which is a thing that I have done many times in the past. And like, you know, I have a couple things that are maybe a little bit ill-fitting and, you know, it's on the long list of like one day I want to maybe sit down and like fix, fix past, <laughs> past projects, past mistakes. But on this day, I'm gonna try to make this thing, this dress with this pattern. It's a Vogue Patterns V9327 View A. So because I have this kind of expensive fabric, and I don't wanna just start cutting into it when I'm not sure if I have to like adjust the pattern a tiny bit first, I am finally going to make a mock-up. The thing about making a mock-up is that it's a ton of extra work to make nothing, to make something that you won't wear. To some, you, just, you just have this pile of fabric that you put work into and it's just, it's just nothing. I hate that. However, <laughs> I do have a ton of muslin that I have like, I, I've just had it for, for many, many months. Uh, so I have, I have some muslin and I have this pattern that I may or may not need to adjust. And so I'm gonna make a mock-up, not of the whole dress, just of the bodice. So I figured since I'm doing this thing for the first time, why not uh, also vlog it? Because that's, that's a, an activity. Right? I don't have to have thoughts. I just have steps to follow. I can do that. The nice fabric that I'm working with for this is sort of, I'm getting ready to do another project with some nice fabric that I will vlog. Maybe that's like gonna be a threshold in the future. If I'm working with very expensive fabric, I feel like I wanna document it to be like, okay, if I fuck this up, well, I at least have yeah, some video. So anyway, that's what I'm gonna do. I suspect that tonight I will only get as far as just like cutting out all of the muslin for the bodice mock-up. I just finished live streaming WandaVision for a Snark Squad thing and I now have to watch a Disney Channel original movie so that I can record a podcast about that in the morning. So, you know, a lot of content. So I'm gonna be cutting out fabric and watching a decom. New day, same project. Last night I cut out the three bodice pieces from the muslin and sewed in all the darts, stitched everything together. I realized though that this dress is lined 
which means that there there's like seam allowance stuff that this isn't properly accounting for. All I'm really trying to check right now is how the bodice fits. So like the, the only one of those that matters should be this one, I think. <sighs> Maybe I'm gonna regret this approach. Uh, hopefully I will be done with this today. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I think, <laughs> I think this is like really all I'm gonna get done <gasps> this weekend. Uh, so, you know, whatever. Hello. <laughs> I have uh, this. I decided not to bother making the lining. I just ironed the seam allowance in and, you know, went with it. It seems fine. I'm like really torn because it, um, like this feels fine. But also, I don't know, like, t should I? Should I do something? I really wish that I was like doing this in real time, you know, so I could be like, okay guys, what do you think I should do? This feels fine and I'm wearing clothing underneath it. The other thing that I am kind of considering doing though is, is like letting out the seam allowance a tiny bit too, um, is rather than doing five eighths of an inch seams, just doing like three eighths of an inch. I realize of course that a quarter of an inch is not like a massive adjustment, but like you figure, a quarter of an inch here, here, this is half an inch, and then again in the in the back, right? So the reason that I had to fold the seam allowance under was to account for the when I attach the outer fabric to the lining. That's gonna take another uh five eighths of an inch uh, off on either side. So that's half an inch, half an inch. That's ultimately a whole inch. That's a whole inch that it would buy me in the bodice. I'm sure that somebody <laughs> watching this is gonna be like, Nicole, you're a fucking ding dong. Uh, and you're right, okay, you're right about me, <laughs> but I am gonna make the choices I'm gonna make, okay? If you're watching this, I've already done it, okay? It's too late, it's too late for you to stop me from, from making my bad choices, okay? My next task is to lengthen the sleeve. I'm not gonna be making the muslin of that. I don't know, I, I held it up to my arm. I'm I'm gonna just like let that be, that be it. Partially because zipping and unzipping this is like kind of a fucking nightmare. As you can see, it's like part of the zipper is gonna go down into the skirt, right? Which means that uh, like it's an, it's, it's an invisible zipper and so it, it's like, keeps getting turned inside out, you know? And so like, I'll go to pull it up and then it's 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 caught on itself because it got flipped again. This will not be a problem when the whole zipper is attached to something, i.e. the skirt, but at present it is only, you know, the bottom of the skirt isn't attached to anything. So I really, I mostly just don't want to have to zip this up again is the, is the big thing. So, so I'm not gonna. Good morning from me because it's Sunday morning here. I don't know what time it is there, but uh, good morning from this time. Last night I started cutting out the fabric. I got a, like, a good way into it, but I still have quite a bit more to do. So I'm gonna finish that today. And then I have to cut out the lining fabric, which I am I'm also quite confident that I will get done today. I might maybe even like start actually sewing things. Uh, at the very least, maybe like the bodice starts. I think that's my goal. <sighs> For today is to at least get to bodice darts um and then you know and then then i'll be done <laughs> with all i'm gonna do for today okay last night i put all the darts in the like main fabric bodice pieces. And I was all ready to sew the darts into the lining, but then I made a sort of last minute decision. Like I had cut it out, marked it up. I was ready to go. Uh, but I decided that I didn't want to use that lining. I bought it online and I didn't quite understand. I didn't quite understand what I was getting. I feel like this lining would be great for a coat, maybe a pair of pants. Um, but it is not really the right thing for the super fitted bodice of this dress. Like I just, this fabric, the outer fabric is like so soft uh, and it would just be like, why, like why, why would you have this 
as as your as your lining fabric. I have a little stash of lining fabrics. There's three three things in it, but uh, when I have purchased linings for other projects, I tend to just buy a little bit extra because it's fairly cheap. In fact, the this white cotton lining that I am going to switch to, uh, this stuff actually got significantly cheaper per yard if I bought a few more yards. And I was just like, I, I am confident <laughs> that I will find a use for white cotton lining fabric. However, I had decided for some reason that I needed a brown lining. And that's the other thing that's like so silly about this is that the, where did it go? This, this brown is not even like, this isn't, this isn't the same brown. So like, why? Why did I think that it was so important that I be using this? Uh, it's not. I've got it all cut out and marked up, ready to take over to the sewing machine and uh, sew down the darts. And then it's time to start putting the bodice together. I think that is really, honestly, like this, the entirety of what I'm trying to do tonight. I think I just wanna finish the bodice. I say just the bodice, but that is actually gonna take me a little bit of time. Anyway, I'm gonna go sew this all together. Please enjoy the <laughs> mid-aughts t-shirt over long sleeve shirt thing that I'm currently doing. Um, I don't have to explain myself to you, okay? I had big dreams <laughs> of finishing the bodice last night and that did not happen. Yesterday was my youngest sibling's birthday. And so like right after I finished filming the thing, I called them and we were on the phone for like an hour. And then a little bit later, my best friend and I are currently rereading the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy for a Star Trek pod episode that probably isn't up by the time this video goes live, but um, you know, starsquad.com slash pod, look out for that. Uh, <laughs> but she was saying how reading this book always makes her wanna go to Prague. And so then I spent fully an hour of my life um, mapping out imaginary travel plans. Anyway, all of that to say that I completely lost track of time and did not do very much of the sew. I did manage to finish the darts on the lining. And then I pressed the darts on the lining, pressed the darts on uh, the outer, this, these three bodice pieces. Um, and then I stitched all of the lining pieces together. So the bodice lining is done. I still have to put together the outer bodice part. Maybe I will get to start on the sleeves tonight, but probably not. It's already like eight o'clock and uh, you know, so once again, <laughs> once again, my goal is to finish the bodice. That's all I want to do today. The bodice is finally done and it's only like 10, 15. So I guess I'm gonna keep going. I've been listening to my audiobook to prepare for this podcast recording um, on Sunday because in addition to my decision to make this dress this week, uh, I also have to read the entire trilogy <laughs> this week. I'm around halfway through the second book right now. I forget what it's even called. I only have a physical copy of the first book. Second one is like, starlight days something something about days and starlight uh but the point is <laughs> the point is that i just got to a part uh that is stressful so um i i'm gonna keep listening to this audiobook regardless wow excuse you so i'm gonna keep listening to this audiobook regardless so i might as well do some sleep, you know, just, just so that you can follow along at home. So I've done all of these steps. And now we're on the sleeve. The rest of this is all sleeves and then sleeves continue onto the next page. However, I only have to do a little bit of a bit of to you know this column and then this column. Um because the like the three views, the sleeves are the, you know. If you look at this, you can see quite clearly that the difference between the three views is just the sleeve. So that's it. I'm gonna go work on the sleeve now. So I'm not quite gonna finish the sleeves tonight. I might have been done with the sleeve, however, if I hadn't struggled so much 
with the cuff. This is very sloppy, but like this is this is the end result that we're looking for. So the thing I was supposed to do is fold it along the fold line with the right sides together and then stitch. And I was just so confused. The first thing I did was flip it in the way that I just did, but then the wrong sides were together. So that was not correct. So then I flipped it all the way. And then I flipped it thinking like, okay, I want, I want to create the cuff, but just with the right sides together. Uh, and, oh, this is so messy. <laughs> this is so messy. What a terrible demonstration. But anyway, I, I was thinking that like then, I was confused, but I, the, the best guess I could make of what it was telling me to do is that it wanted me to just like restitch more or less, you know, on the, like where I stitched before to turn it into the tube. Uh, so here's my handy dandy safety pin as a stand in for like, this is, you know, stitching along that line and then you flip it. And let me tell you, it sure isn't the thing that you wanted. This isn't it at all. After staring at it for way too long, I finally realized that I was making it needlessly difficult because uh, the right sides were already together. I didn't, that, I had already, I was already there. Like I was, I was reading into that, that I needed to do something else, but like this is, it, it was already there. And, and so all I had to do <laughs> was fold it. Uh, just fold it like as it already was. I didn't need to do any of that flippy nonsense to ba -ka -ba -ka -ba -ka, we do that and then we flip it and oh my god that's the cuff. Wow. Now I'm gonna go and like actually stitch this together properly uh, just sew both of the cuffs and flip them and then I'm gonna call it a night because it's like a quarter to midnight and I gotta go to bed. Uh, but you know, now, now that I've solved this, I wanna, I wanna commit it <laughs> just in case I forget tomorrow. I'm confident that this is a step I will not forget after treating this silly little cuff like a fricking Rubik's cube. Um, but I figured it out, I solved it. So I wanna go do that. Last night, I went ahead and finished the cuffs as uh, I said I would. However, I made a mistake further upstream <laughs> in the project uh, than that. All of my safety pin problem solving, that was correct. Uh, but the, the, the earlier steps, there were some earlier steps where I did a wrong thing. I now have to rip out so many seams. This is plenty big enough for me to just cut out two new cuff pieces. Honestly, I am surprised that I didn't make more mistakes sooner. I feel like I got pretty far, <laughs> uh, so whatever. I've remade the cuffs uh, and I feel like at this point it's easier <laughs> to explain what I did wrong. I have to sew them together right sides together, right? Like this. Um, but I'm gonna do it this way so you can see the markings. I'm only supposed to be closing it. So these, the the, the big circles mark uh, like the, the start and stop points. What I did was I sewed between them, but actually that's supposed to be kept open. So I was supposed to sew from here out, from here out only the other way. It's fine, it's fine. I figured it out. At long last, I have correctly assembled cuffs. Well, this is done. And with that, this whole uh, first sheet of paper can be, um, Hold it up and set aside. So bodice and sleeve were the first two sections. Skirt, pockets, and zipper are all one section. Uh, and then finishing is just is just hemming. My hope is to finish just like putting all of the skirt pieces and maybe getting the skirt attached to the bodice. Like I would love to get to the step before the zipper. I don't know. I don't know if I'll quite get that far, but that's my great hope for tonight.
it's not being held together at all in the back, but I got as far as I hoped I would last night and the bodice and the skirt are attached. The skirt has its pockets. Also, I went for a run after work and I just got out of the shower and I don't want my wet hair to drip all over my dress. So that's why this is happening. All I have left to do now is the zipper and sewing down the lining and the hem. That's it. That's it. Three more steps. I mean, it's already looking like a dress. I mean, other than the fact that when I uh, lift my arms up, it does that. But you know, it's it's basically dress shaped. I gotta go. I gotta go wash the zipper tutorial, lady, and then sew on a zipper, and then I have a standing. Um, watching MTV's The Challenge date with a friend. It's 6.15 right now, I have about 45 minutes to rewatch my little tutorial and sew down the zipper, uh, and then I can probably be doing some of the hand sewing of the lining while I'm watching The Challenge, which seems great. So I did not wind up finishing the zipper before watching The Challenge, so I have not gotten to the slip stitching step. I am, however, done with the zipper. In theory, it's time for me to start the slip stitching. Actually, <laughs> before the slip stitching, there's an additional step, which is uh, finishing sewing the skirt together. I guess actually I'm not entirely done with the zipper because I haven't uh, finished sewing the bottom of it. And the thing is, I am a little bit conflicted because I put the dress on and it's honestly a little bit too big. <laughs> <laughs> um, I didn't wind up going with the 3 8 7 inch uh, seam allowance, which I had briefly considered doing. The real culprit, <laughs> I believe, is that when I was doing the muslin, I had assumed that the attaching the lining to the outer shell I didn't, I didn't read the instructions all the way because I, because I wasn't doing the lining when I did the muslin, right? So I was just like, okay, I assume that the lining will be attached all the way around. So the lining is just attached at the neck. Because I had expected the lining to go uh, all the way down, I folded the, the back seams of the muslin under 5 eighths of an inch and attached the zipper to that. It's, I, it's ultimately <laughs> been let out uh, a little over an inch, which is too much. And look, it's fine. I could absolutely wear it like this, but I kind of feel like I should take it out because the, the thing is, this is like, this is where it is supposed to be fitted. Like it's supposed to be super snug in the bodice and then it's like loose and flowy everywhere else. So I, I hate it. I, I hate it. <laughs> I hate thinking about taking it out. The other thing is that the, the skirt falls a tiny bit lower than I would like. At this point, all I really have to do is take this zipper back out, which is frustrating because I, I did such a good job. It's a struggle to get it really like right in the little ditch there. And a couple times I like went back over it, really securing it. <laughs> uh, so it's gonna be a real pain in the ass to rip up. Also unrelated to any of this, I've been meaning to dye my hair for a really long time. I, I don't, I've been having it up in ponytails. Like I've been avoiding having it down because of it's like, 14 different colors and that's not on purpose. I don't I don't want it to be doing the things that it's doing right now. So I might go put that in while I sit and painstakingly rip out a bunch of fucking stitches. It's done and I'm very tired. So I'm gonna do reveal and talking about it and all that stuff tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow for me, uh, but you're gonna see it right now. It is a very different vibe than pretty much anything else that I have made, but I think that that is part of why I like it. I feel like that's one of the things that is very exciting about getting to make my own clothes is getting to, I don't know, try a range of things and getting to wear a range of things. I really love this dress. It like, it just feels nice, both in terms of um, like, like the fabric, like genuinely feels very good against my skin. And also like it feels nice. Uh, 
<laughs> I don't know. It feels fancier, I guess. In addition to loving like the fabric that I made this dress out of, I also really love the dress, like the pattern. And it is one that I can definitely see myself returning to. As it turns out, I think the size was actually fine and I didn't need to do any of the things that I did to like, you know, try to take it out. I'm also just kind of like proud of how it turned out. <laughs> I, it, you know, I love like the pattern and the fabric and, and all of that, but I, I also feel, I don't know, proud of my work. I can feel the ways in which I am getting better at this. I continue to have so much to learn, but I have, have made some progress and that's really cool. There's one big sort of flaw, I guess, in this, and it's, it's this right here. Uh, I didn't catch it until pretty late in the process and I was like, I'm not ripping anything back up for that. I don't care because it's in the back and I will never have to look at it. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna be honest with you, that was a huge, a huge part of my, my decision. As I am learning all sorts of fun new things about the sewing itself, I'm also still kind of like struggling my way through this process. I think part of where I'm getting stuck is that most of the sewing vlogs that I watch are also kind of like part tutorial. And I, I don't, I don't feel, <laughs> I don't feel the least bit qualified to be doing tutorials of anything. This is meant to be more just like, here I am trying to figure it out. Anyway, I am just rambling now because I'm <laughs> excited to be talking to a person in, I mean, you're not here, but like a future person, you know? I'm, I'm talking to the idea of a person and that's kind of cool. So <laughs> uh, thank you for joining me on this little journey and for humoring me as I attempt to document my progress. Let me know uh, in the comments if you have any like thoughts or suggestions for the way that I am approaching the sewing vlog itself. Uh, I mean, also feel free to let me know if you have any like comments or suggestions about my, my sewing choices as well. I reserve the right to ignore those suggestions, <laughs> but uh, if you have any, I'm, I'm open to, you know, having them tossed my way, but I'm particularly open to hearing thoughts that you have about what I'm doing right here because I was trying to end the video and then I just kept talking. So, you know, tell me the thoughts. If you, if you have the thoughts, I would love to hear them. Um, but thank you for watching this. That's it. 